Hello, happy Friday night, my friends. Ooh, just a second. I think that's better. better. Oh, maybe, maybe not. not. Just, just a sec. sec. There we go. Oh. Let's check. Oh, sorry. I have to start that again. Not my first rodeo, friends. It shouldn't be an issue. You can't hear me for a minute, so just a sec. Can you hear me? Sorry about that. Just give me a second. Isn't that funny? Just a sec. I'm going to mute for a second so you can't hear me for one minute, okay? You'll see me twice. Wait a second. Can you hear me? That's better, right? Everybody can hear me? That was crazy. <laughs> Everybody can hear me, right? Just let me know. I um, always have my mic. I had set my mic off, but I had set uh, the one camera up way earlier than the second. So uh, it took a second for me to figure out how to fix it. But now that I've been doing these for a long time, I was able to fix it. So let's start that all over again. Hello, friends. Happy Friday night. How are we doing? I hope you're all doing well. And uh, you guys in the U.S. had a wonderful Thanksgiving and a happy Black Friday. If you got some of your holiday shopping and all of those things done. I hope uh, you guys had a good time. And for my Canadian friends, I hope your Christmas trees are up and your lights are done, if that's what you're into. And uh, you are settled in for a Friday night where we can make something really fun. I have lots of things set up tonight and I won't keep the camera on me for a long time because we have a lot of work to do. So I have the boxed cards from Sweet Rush. I have a mix of Sweet Rush ephemera, some cardstock, some tools like circle punches and border punches and a stapler for the vellum and some washi tape. I have uh, my black ink and some stamp sets. So in case we decide we are going to, um, if we're going to do some stamping, we'll decide. Hello from Puerto Rico. Hello, hola friend. Uh, got done with the last of errands so you can get back in time for this. I'm very happy to see you here, here Sheree. Um, how's everybody doing? I'm so excited for this. Just got my box cards. Yay! And FYI, and I'll say this a couple times because, you know, not everybody joins us right at the beginning of this. I'm going to do an impromptu sale tomorrow at noon. So I have, we'll have kits with everything that I'm using tonight in it. And I'm slashing the prices on Sweet Brush. So I'm just going to load up a whole bunch of stuff on there. So if you want to stock up on your Sweet Rush or you've never had Sweet Rush in your collection, watch for that. A couple of other things, some uh, class kits and maybe a couple grab boxes. So tomorrow at noon, 12 p.m. Eastern time, um, you will see a uh, shop update with a little impromptu sale. There's going to be a bigger one coming when I organize everything. We just leased a... Uh, um, a storage area so that I can get stuff out and we can start organizing it. So there will be a much bigger grab box sale and um, a whole bunch of stuff coming. But to start, I'm going to go through and just inventory what I have left and just do a huge sale so you guys can stock up. So I think that'll be fun, right? That'll be fun. Yay! So it'll be on vickybooten.com tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I will say it again before we sign off tonight. So if anybody joins us later, um, they can see it. If I get a chance, I will um, throw out a newsletter so people are aware of it as well. But it's really just going to be one of those kind of impromptu things. You can use any of your box card sets. They don't 
if you have crate paper ones or Paige Evans ones or any box card sets, you could do that with what we're going to do. So we are going to do use cards and we are going to do flaps and inserts in the pockets. So it's going to be fun. Hi, Rich Booten. Can I tell my story? What about your tooth? I had my pizza in my little square pieces and I survived. So all my fans can know that I'm still alive. Yes, fans. <laughs> you guys, what have you made? What have you created? Um, so Rich's little adventure this week is his tooth was bothering him and he has no fillings. He has very healthy mouth. And he's like, my tooth's bothering me. I don't know what's going on. And then the next day he wakes up and his tooth's killing him. And I'm like, maybe you fractured it. Maybe there's something going on because it's not decay. He goes to the dentist every three and a half months we go. So it turns out Rich totally fractured his tooth through the root. And of course it was one of his upper molars, which have the most roots, the first molar, a little dental background. So your first molar has the most roots in your mouth. Like it's a three root at least. Sometimes they can be a little wonky. And of course he fractured it. So it was a full on surgical kind of procedure. So dude has been eating soup and we ordered pizza tonight and he wanted the pizza. So he cut it into bite-sized pizzas pieces and we all made fun of him like we do at the Booten House. So he wanted all of his fans, he called you his fans, to feel sorry for him and to say, oh, poor Rich. So, but don't. Everybody says, ah, ha, ha, you cut your meats up. I made him rice. So he was having something different than the um, soup habitant for our good Canadians. Habitant pea soup is what he has been eating all week. So now he, he had pizza cut up into little pizza pieces, but he wanted everybody to feel bad for poor Richie, but he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. Anyway, so let's do the things. I'm going to flip the camera. We're going to get right into it. So we are going to be making a little flip mini book. I had done this one as a um, little make and take uh, at an event I taught at. So it's going to be this, but bigger. We're going to add some flips and flaps and do some bigger things. And I'm going to decorate it all differently. I'm not even going to look at this one. We're just going to start again. But like always, it is totally, I haven't planned it. We're just going to make it live, right? So yeah, it 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 sucks, but not bad enough to miss out on pizza. 100% done. He looked at it like longingly. He would have laughed when we opened the pizza box up and he's like, I'm going to have some. And I'm like, do you really think that's a good idea for your first solid meal that you go to pizza? Like I made you rice, just eat the rice, but he had rice and pizza. So yay. Anyway, let's flip the camera and do all of the things. Are you ready? So um, I got to add it back in here. So give me a sec. You're going to see two of us for a minute. Oh no, it worked. So good. So we are going to go to the overhead camera and do things. Anybody have any questions before we get started? Yeah, poor guy. He probably at some point, you know how there can be things in your food that are hard, right? And he probably fractured the tooth a long time ago and it finally just gave way. So it's probably what happened to the poor guy is the tooth has had a little hairline fracture uh, for a long time. He probably does clench because I find a lot of us do nowadays. We carry lots of stress, stress and we clench our teeth. And he, at some point, it just fractured. So not fun, right? Not fun at all. What supplies do we need? I'm going to use a box cards. I have a six by eight paper pad. I have both ephemera packs. I have some thickers. I have some letters because I might put numbers on some of these. I have some circle punches, a border punch, some washi tape, tape runner, foam dots, and a stapler. So, right? No cards like these make your own 100%. If you have a six by eight paper pad, fold it in half and now you have cards. And then I just, I always have just a box of tools, right? So if I need any of these, they're behind me. Hello, Poppy. How are you, my friend? How are things in Australia? Um, we clench and grind our teeth in our sleep, not knowing we're doing it. 100% we do. It is definitely a thing. I'm a clencher. 
So for me, I'm like, whatever you wimp. Cause I've had, I've had, um, four root canals. I've had an apicectomy where they go into the site through the side of your jaw to fix a root canal. Cause one of the roots wasn't filled. Um, I've had it all and I sleep through it all, but probably because I worked in the dental field. So I know exactly what's going on. So I don't get stressed over dental, dental work. Not a wimp. Not a just was standing on my chest. <laughs> He's a wimp. Don't let him fool you. I took care of him though. You know what I mean? Isn't it funny? It's like, um, even though, uh, you know, if, if you're a nurse or whatever, when you work in a field and you're like, whatever, you're, you're not a, a good taker carer. I'm going to turn this a little bit. So maybe I'm not the best nursemaid to poor Mr. Booten, but I did take care of him and I made sure that, uh, he was um feeling okay but i laugh now when he was getting into the pizza i'm like dude i don't think that's a good idea he was gonna go and get himself a frosty the first day i'm like you can't have extreme cold or heat you're gonna get uh lose your clot and you're gonna get a dry socket and he's like what is a dry socket and i'm like you don't want to know it's the one thing you do not want to have it's very painful so i laugh mr rich Putin. but he's doing better just was a little shocker, right? I've had surgery uh, twice on my TMJ joint. Mm. Uh, you're written up in a medical journal in the early 90s. Wow, Deb. Yes, you get jaded when you work in the field. It's true, right? As a nurse or whatever, we're not good. I am with my children. And if he was really not well, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'd get a nurse so I could do the nice things, but not the, yeah, yeah, just, and I'm the kind too. Just make sure I get a drink or something, but you can leave me alone. Just give me my medication and just leave me be, make sure I get fed, make sure I get a drink, but I don't need you to feel bad for me or take care of me, right? So maybe that's it. I have all the time in the world for my kids, but not my poor husband got neglected. So in your boxed card sets, you get 40 cards in envelopes, right? So we're going to pull out a couple of each card. Um, I'll start with two, and then we can go from there. And um, when we design mine, some we make where it's just the full front and back. And I love these as well for making cards. If you need a really quick card, you could just put a sentiment on here, a mat, be done, right? Uh, so I know that these are very popular. I laugh. Um, the story that I tell is I have a friend who I went to high school with who said, "You, I know you made it now because I was at um, HomeSense and I found your boxed card sets. And I was like, hey, I know her. <laughs> And I laughed because she thought that was funny that she found product with my name on it, right? So I'm just going to grab two of everything to start. Oh, boy, I can't imagine how this conversation got started. What, with the teeth? Yeah. I've had root canals and root amputation. Yeah, it is. It's a real thing, right? And I always say, if you're going to get a root canal, I really would recommend going to an endodontist. I just go, I think, go to a specialist, get it done right the first time so you don't have to deal with the aftermath. So we're going to grab two of each card. And that's what we're going to start with. So you could use double-sided tape. You could use your tape runner when we go to adhere these. But we're going to do something a little fun, and we can do some flaps. So let's get what we need, and then we can prep. I might grab a couple of these that are extra that have simple patterns. And then we can make some of the flaps out of these too. Okay. And then I have cardstock as well for some mats because I thought that would be a good thing for a mat. Do do. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. You supported your endodontist entire family for these past two years. Yeah, and a lot of it is from clenching. A lot of us who need root canals, it's not because we had deep decay in our teeth. It's from clenching and fracturing our teeth. 
So I'm not surprised in the last two years if there are not more fracture related dental care with COVID and the stress that that caused. And we really, really, really need to work on dealing with that stress because I don't know about you guys. I feel it way more like the stress is like serious and it takes a serious toll on your health. So I have to tell you friends that I really am a firm believer in finding the things that help you relax. Like that's why I'm here crafting with you guys all the time because I came on here tonight. I'm, I was tired. I have been working. I, I took the day off though yesterday and thoroughly enjoyed that, but I've been working a lot, right? I'm tired. So I find that um, coming and doing these kind of things is a definite form of stress relief for me is to make art or to paper craft um, always makes me feel better. Uh, yet yeah, uh, Debbie was saying, I love your purchases from one of a kind. Yes, there. if you're in the um, Southern Ontario region, Toronto does this amazing show called the One of a Kind Arts and Craft Show. And it is all local artisans in, uh, at the Exhibition Center in downtown Toronto. And I think they had done a spring show, but really this winter show was the first one that all the artists that I love to go see were in attendance. And I went with my friend Janice and I um, definitely went wanting to support those artists who I know um, have had a rough year. So I bought myself a Barbie picture and I bought myself um, a couple of really cute outfits. And this too, isn't this adorable? So this is going to be one of my new water cups. And um, I absolutely love it. And this artist had a whole bunch of these little uh, flower ladies. And I guess the flower represents in Korea madness when women had a flower in their hair it represented madness and there's a whole story about it but i bought this because i couldn't decide and i want to go and get some more like she, there were like this face and head with like a plate on top or a teacup on her head it was absolutely adorable so i bought this to start and i bought some barbie art and uh had just a wonderful time with my friend janice and I can't wait to go to the spring show, right? That Barbie picture you bought is amazing. And the artist was absolutely um, a great guy. So it was very fun too. Oh, can I show you something else that will be going? Remember I told you, so don't forget two friends. If you are doing the Evergreen and Holly event with me on Sunday at, is it 1130? I don't have my 1130. We will be doing prep work. So I'm going to be doing some cutting and uh, organizing our kits. So even if you can't join me live on Sunday, you're going to want to watch that prior to the weekend. I will be posting instructions for the classes tomorrow. And um, you can print those off if you want. But you don't really need it for Sunday. You just need to do it if you like to follow along with the cutting diagram and such prior to um, prior to Sunday. I'll get you my piece of art if you guys want to see what I bought. It really is Vicky. So let me grab it. It's still wrapped up because I don't want it to get broken before I get to hang it. So I will show you. His name is Mark and I linked him and we are friends and followers. I'm following him now on Instagram because he had a giant pink one that I wanted to, but I have nowhere to put it, but I will show you this amazing piece of artwork that I will find a very special spot for here in my studio. Are you ready for the reveal? Some of you saw this, but if you didn't, let me show you and explain. Isn't it beautiful? So it is lacquered, but do you see all of the little toys around it that are spray painted in gold? So there's a Pez dispenser and a Smurf. I absolutely love this in the toy boxes and a little Cinderella. So that is what I purchased for my studio. I absolutely love it. Um, and now I want to find a whole bunch of Barbie inspired art and maybe make some of my own, but yeah, it's beautiful. 
when I found it, it was called Barbie Mixed Media. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I need to have that. So yeah, I bought that for myself. And like I said, with the other lady who did the little water cup, I will be buying another piece of that. I love art and I'm really hoping in the new year that I can get you guys started in making some with me that I feel like I've warmed you up with the mixed media and we do the scrapbooking together. And when we start really venturing in to more mixed media on the Wednesdays and gel plate printing, that maybe we can look at doing some canvases and some altered art, I think would be really fun. And then I bought these that are going into my second Christmas album. So look at how fun these are. So this was Chris's cards and he had a whole bunch of poster art and stuff. And I loved it. But look at Figgy Pudding, Meet You Neath the Mistletoe, Get Your Corn for Poppin', Fresh Chestnuts. These are all going to be going into the second album I'm going to make. So that. And are you ready? These ones are adorable too. So look at Five Golden Rings four calling birds, three French hens, and two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. So for the month of December, when I start making my altered Christmas album using Evergreen and Holly, Tim Holtz, and a whole bunch of found crap that I have been collecting forever for Christmas, I'm going to use those card sets in there too. So I'm going to make pockets out of them or something really fun. So I'd have to say that it's really smart for you to just start collecting ephemera, anything Christmassy, receipts, postcards, anything that you see, your favorite Christmas card you receive. And in the month of December, when we start making our second Evergreen and Holly inspired album, I'm going to do two that uh, with mixed media and a whole bunch of funkiness in them, I'm going to be doing that too. I had an awesome day shopping. I did. It was, it was fun. And if you've met me, I really enjoy doing that. So, so let's get to what we're doing tonight. So we're going to make that album, but I also want to find pages that will work for flaps and mats. So grab whatever you want in your things and let's just have some fun tonight. So you're going to need something to score with okay that one so anything that is kind of like a simple pattern i'm going to use so i'm just going to pull some crap out just pulling some crap out let's just make some things right that one might work too i'm not going to necessarily use all of this but now i have a good selection of things okay question does print shop have a card set or did i miss it it sure does it sure does. Um, and I will, um, it's, it should be, I think I have lots left still on my website. Um, so if you remember, I said that uh, I'm going to have a sale up tomorrow and I'm going to, whatever I can find that I can get up there and give like a nice healthy discount, um, it will be added. So make sure you go and check that out, right? VickiBooten.com tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I will do a sale. Um, just to clear some stuff out and make room for new stuff here and hopefully make somebody happy out there who was looking for that just special little thing that you want paper craft with, right? So keep in mind when you create your card album, I don't want to do the same one on the front. So I'm going to pick something different this time. So what do I want on my cover this time? Maybe this, that's kind of fun decide what I want on the cover could do the rainbow that would be fun but it really needs to go let's decide well we were gonna cut I think the front piece no it's gonna go like it is yeah maybe you want a rainbow on the front cover are you guys um digging the rainbow for the cover it really does kind of signify right this um collection is this because on the paper it's actually upside down but we'll do it like this like a proper rainbow 
Um, and then just start deciding what you want as your second card. All right. So you're going to put it now like that. I'm not gluing anything, but you're going to go like, right, zigzag all the way through. I'm not gluing anything. I'm just starting with the order of my cards. So now this one will have navy on that side. So decide what you think would look nice as the next color. And I think this could be pretty. So maybe I'll go with that. All right. So right now, see what we've done. You're just going to put your cards backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. I'm not putting that next. I changed my mind because I can. Um, maybe this one instead. I just, yeah, I like that better. I thought that's too rainbow after the rainbow, like when I turn in. Okay. So I'm going to go with that one next. And I'll show you again. So don't, don't get your knickers in a knot. I'll come back. So the back one is going to look like this, right? So which one do we want to go next? What would be nice with this one? Maybe the orange dot. Kind of like that, right? So it's orange dot. And then the sunshine on the back. So let's decide what we want, right, so far. So, so far, right on the front side, this is what it looks like. So what do I want to put with that rainbow? Now, maybe this one. That could be fun, right? So on the back side, it looks like this so far. Nothing is glued. So now we have to decide what we want to match with that guy. Do do, what do I want there? We're gonna make this one a little bit bigger, right? So we can, maybe the flowers, that'll be pretty. Let me do that. Yeah, you can totally paper clip, which we I will do after Natalie. See, I'm ready, but I'm gonna wait until I have my flaps on. Okay, so the next one here, I'm going to put the hearts with. I like that. And then what do we want with the dots? This will actually work really nicely. All right. Will work nicely and then with the hearts I'm gonna pick another one that we've used I think already oh no maybe look at this is perfect put this okay the pink I love it and then we have the green and maybe I'll end with my butterflies. Look at that. Love it. Which side do I want that one? Okay. Ready? So you could keep building. We'll decide. Do we want more pages or are we going to focus on the flaps and such? We will decide here. So these are literally six by eight. Look at, they are, oh yeah, A2, five and a half by a four and a quarter, the A2 sides. But I was saying you could totally make this out of your six by eight paper pad, just fold it in half because we have done this with paper pad before. So you could go in with that and just be a little narrower, but you totally could if you don't have cards, right? I will tell you, because I'm not done yet, okay? So don't forget, we'll have to fill something in on the front and on the back when we're done too. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Do we want to put one more just to make it fun? 
right? So right now, this is what we're looking like. And we could finish it and just double up with something else at the back. What do I want to use again? Be this one. So this guy, I'm going to put here like that. And then that is the back, but I will probably end up matting it. Okay. So we have the rainbow card and then the uh, wave card are our first two, right? Wave, rainbow, wave, and then uh, polka dot, right? And then the orange with the sun. Here, let's just do this so I can flip it all. You're not lost, Irene. Just grab your cards and we'll go through it again. You have to remember, right? With every single one we did, that card's open and then that one needs to come to the back, right? So if you see rainbow with navy is our first card. Rainbow up and then wave fits inside of it. So do that with me right now if you haven't done it yet. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, I have to organize it all so I can show you guys. So here. So, so far, this is what we have, right? Rainbow and wave. Are we good with that? Rainbow and wave. Because this was the first card. It has rainbow. So it's opening the opposite side and then wave. So that's our first one. And then that's the back side of rainbow. And it's going to get this one, which is the polka dots, circle-y pattern. Doesn't have to be perfect, just get a clip so you get your order here, okay? So they're gonna go beside each other like that. Do it with me, friends, if you're using this card set or whatever card set you're using. So rainbow, wave, and then this one fit inside the back of the wave card, right? So there's the wave card. So right now it's three cards, three cards, three cards. And your whole thing you're keeping in mind is you have to cover the white. The only white that won't be covered is the back of the front page. Somebody let me know. Are you doing okay? All right? Rainbow. Back of the rainbow's navy. Wave fits on the back. Polka dotty covers the back of wave. So it's sitting like this. The next one that will come in is orange with the sunshine on it. Orange with sunset is going to go like that. Clipper. Okay. So no, so far that's one, two, three, four cards now. That look like this on one side. and look like this on the other side, okay? And it is one, two, three, four cards. One, two, three, four cards. And now we're going to take the stripes and it is going to meet up with the other side of the sunshine. Hello from Brazil, how are you? Okay. Rainbow, wave, dot, uh, polka dots, orange with the sun, and now rainbow stripe. And so far, do you see? 
clip them together if that makes it easier as I'm going. Now we're going to take flower and it has to fit to cover the white. So the backside of the stripes, right? And we're going to put that in like that. And I will show you again. Right? So when you're looking at this side, you should see rainbow navy with the dots or circly things circly things with stripes and white backside is white because that's the front page it's waves it is sunset and orange or sunrise and orange and floral with the blue um x and o's okay how are we doing let me know if you have any questions now is the time to ask and i will help you right and now the hearts go in there right totally makes sense hearts right right there I am using Sweet Rush. Perfect. Perfect. Hello, Robin. How are you? So, right, the stripes went. Flowers are on the back with the turquoise. And then hearts. And from hearts, we already decided the stripe will look really pretty with those X and O's. So we'll clip that one now, right? Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Hi, Joanne, how are you? Question, is there a minimum number of cards you suggest to use? Yeah, you could use five if you want, just as long as the front and back, and then you cut something to cover your white. So if you only have six, seven cards, you can make a little mini out of whatever you have. Or you could also add some pattern paper that you cut, right? So there's the hearts. And on the back is a stripe with a green. Stripe with a green. And now we're going to add this one. And I'm going to put the pink side with the hearts. Hi, Tracy. How are you? You're using your Warm Wishes card set. I love it. It's a beautiful one, too. You could recreate this with every single card set you own. And I think this is a fun little gift. So say your mom or your dad or your sister, they love your little mini albums. You could whip a couple of these up. You could give them to teachers as a gift. A teacher would love this, especially if you go in and volunteer and you've taken a couple pictures so or leave it naked and they can add because really a lot of them are just going to be variations of four by sixes in it just trimmed down so the last card i added was the pink with the black dots on the back so now we have to fill in with our green so we did butterfly with that because it's perfect right the butterfly will work beautifully right there right so adding right there to cover up the white on the back of the last card. Fernwood. Yep. I've done a Fernwood one of these before. So yeah, I already know it'll turn out beautifully. And then I decided to add one more. So I'm putting this guy on the back. I've used pretty much every card in the set, right? So 40, 10 cards. So it's 11. I think I have here. We'll count in a minute. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cards. It helps if you actually clip it. So I used 11. So I used one of all of the cards plus one on the back just to add another page because I wanted, I like that there. Okay, so things we know. We need something on the back of this one so we can take any of our extra cards 
and decide like you could even if you wanted just to be fun there's no reason you couldn't do the same and it could be like a double pager i'm going to do that because we can right so what i'm doing now is cutting a card in half Here's a nice thing too, is a lot of you guys who are supporters of me, uh, you whatever the collection, whatever comes out in the collection, you buy it. And uh, a lot of you, when you order from me, will order the card sets. So I love that you can make cards out of them and we will be doing that moving forward. I'm gonna start making a lot of cards out of the card sets, see? So now I have one that will go on the back here, okay? like that so let's clip it that's going on the back of the front and this just gives you another use for those card sets right there and then for this back one we need one on the back page there you know what's great i'm adding one more card i want this to end with this being the back page if that makes sense so I'm putting one more card on. What's it going to be? Because it's with the butterflies. So I think I might use this one. Okay. So I'm going to put that on my last page. Because I want this page to open like that, if that makes sense. Okay. Yes. Makes sense to me. So we needed one at the back of there, and now we need a card that goes with this one here. And if you wanted to, you could just use the waves again. I don't want to, so I'm not going to, but I might end it with this, that navy one. If you don't have cards, just use six. Well, think it's an A size card, A2 size card, pardon me. Um, so you could use a six by eight paper pad and it's just slightly different or you could uh, fold to make these out of pattern paper, right? There. So we're not going to do this on every page, but I thought it would be fun because these are all going to be pockets. These are all going to be top pockets. So we will definitely need... I'm not going to make the first one a pocket, okay? I'm not going to make the first. We might switch this first one up because I'm wild and crazy. We might do something a little different. But it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven top pockets. So we need a piece that will fit in the top because we're not going to seal the top of it. So we can add a piece that comes in and out but i'm not going to do it on the first one i'm just going to glue it flat okay and what funny this album's a little different too because i started my front and back a little differently okay so depending what you're what are you going to tape your sides with if you're going to use a tape runner that is about, I don't know, half inch the tape would take up. So you could do three inch tags. I like that. I like three inch tags because we cut a whole bunch out of a piece of cardstock, right? So I have a sheet of yellow cardstock and I'm going to cut three by six inch tags to go inside. Three by six. And you can use yellow. I'm going to use blue, I think, on this one. Just because it'll be fun. So look it. I have a piece of blue cardstock. I'm going to cut it in to 6 inch by 12 inch pieces. 6 by 12. Okay, 6 by 12. And then I'm going to cut 3 inch tags out of that. So there'll be 3 by 6 inch tags. And we will need a little bit more cardstock, but just to start, right? Three by six inch tags. Very good. Right, 
So that gave me eight. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need 11. So I have another little piece here, I think. Is it big enough? I don't know. We'll see. Eight. Um, I need another piece of cardstock. Let me grab it. Two more, three. Is that the same color? Nope, it's not. It's dark in my room. That looked like the same color, and it was not the same color. So let me grab it. Uh oh. Now we have to look. I might not have any more of that. Is that the same? It, no, they're not the same. I may have used it all. So I might have to switch it up. But I can always find a solution for anything. Can I get three inches out of here? Yeah, I think I can. I think I'll be okay. Are you guys cutting your mats, your little taggers? So yep, three by sixes, and I'll show you why I went with three by six, so we don't have to get any special double-sided tape. We're gonna start gluing in a minute our album together. So imagine now, right? We will have our cards going. I'm not gonna put anything on the front one, but I will, on the second one, you see how this will go, right? These tags will fit inside the album, like that. They're going to fit inside. And we can tag them if we want, What we can decide. Could your tags be wider? Yes, if you use thinner tape, they most certainly could. Okay? But now some of these I think would be fun if they also have a flap. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's just do one right here. We're going to do one on this page. Okay. So right now, don't worry about how it's going to come together. Just do I need one more blue tag? Maybe I might, but I'll figure it out when I get there. I have a little bit more blue so I can do it. But I just want you guys to get the gist of and now what I want to talk about is some flappers. I think that's a fun one. So this I'm going to put in and it's going to flap out of my page. It's going to be a flap. So I am going to cut this. Remember, these are five and a half. Mine is a six inch paper. My flaps, I'm going to make, I could probably do, I'm going to do three and three quarter, I think. Let's try it. And they could alter, but three and three quarters, okay? Let me show you. I'm going to demo one. Three and three quarters. And it's going to flap on here. I'm not going to do them on every page. It'd just be a, a little fun thing, okay? So we're going to score the top of this so it can glue behind and open as a flap. We are going to score this mm, a little bit more than a half inch, okay? So it, the flap will be a, a shy of five and a half inches. Don't overthink it, friends. And whatever you have to score. Like I have a pen. No, can't use that one. I don't know where my scoring tool is, right? So that'll work. And I'm just going to score this. And I'm going to demo now, okay? Let me show you it coming together. Why does what open backwards? 
you can flip it if you don't want it to open i'm having my page that's my first page and open like this if you don't want it to do that way don't put your front card on like that start it with this card right there's no rules it's your book you do whatever you want but i'm going to have a, a second flap flip out on this page okay if you don't like it don't do it so we're going to fold our score i'm going to round the bottom corners of that and i'm going to put a page together so you can see i'm in a corner rounder And don't get frustrated, friends. Sometimes, like something like this, it's worth watching for a minute before you try to do it. Right now, everybody has their tags, I would think, like their cards put together. You may have cut your tags, and now you're going to see it start to come together, okay? My album opens like this, right? If you don't want that to do this on your front page, just don't put that as your front card this would open like this for you and you totally can do it whatever you want whatever makes you happy makes me happy too okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start building this album so i'm going to take this piece out because i can add it last but i am going to create remember this will be my first pocket the front page won't this will be my first pocket so when I go to glue this down, right, the first piece here is going to have adhesive only on the back, sides and bottom. Don't adhere the top. If you want, you can put it on this side, whatever you want to do, okay? I'm using tape runner because I think it will be much faster if we just run it right to the edge like that. See, side, bottom, side, right? Now you're going to very carefully line your first page with this page. I'm not going to lie. I find much easier to just work and add from your stack, okay? So see the adhesive there? So I'm going to line that up. Like that. And that is my first pocket. Right? First pocket. And if it helps, just stick one of these guys in and you will see. First pocket. Mine does open backwards, but with intention. I'm going to put something there, okay? So that's two cards attached together to create a top pocket. Does that make sense? Oh, I know you weren't judging, Erin. Um, but you're right. It is backwards, right? And maybe I was just faking it to make it look like I was just talking about, but I can make anything work, right? Um, so yeah, there's my first pocket, right? There we go. Now, this next one, I'm going to take out of my stack, this card, right? It's going to be my second one. We're going to put the adhesive like we did and create this, but I created this top flap the dimensions again were six by three and three quarters and i scored a three quarter inch flap at the top so we want this flap right to flap on the front of the card like this like on the front of this page it's going to flap like that right so we would need to attach the flap first 
and then glue it with the opening at the top. Does that make sense? Right? I'm not going to punch a notch out, but you can if you want to, Julie. Maybe on one of the pages I will, right? Do you like that, Erin? That it's like maybe I just tried to make it look like I knew what I was talking about. So I'm going to glue this three-quarter inch flap <laughs> inside like that. Okay. So look at what we're looking at. There's the card with the front flap. How fun is that? I opted to go with this green out of my paper pad because it's a continuation. So it looks like the flap was almost a part of like some funny cutting, right? So we're going to do the same thing we did before. This is going to get glued to this, leaving the top open. So no adhesive at the top. Okay. You can put it on the back of this piece or on the front of where it's gluing down. Whatever makes you happy. But yeah, we can notch one of them out if we want to, Julie. So I'm putting my adhesive. Again, I'm just using a tape runner because it's way easier than double-sided tape. And we're going to glue with the top flap. Again, the dimensions was six inches tall with a score of three quarters. And the width of it was slightly smaller than the book. So three and three quarters. And then let's glue that sucker down. And if you notice, there is a little white line so that the pages will actually turn. And then if you go crazy with your adhesive, oops, just clean it up. So what do we think, friends? Clear as mud? Or are you doing okay? I think that's fun, right? To just add a little flap in there too. So now it's open and just make sure you, your glue. You could always put a little wet glue on there too. You just got to watch it doesn't seep into the pocket opening and uh, you can't get anything inside of it. So there's my second. So maybe we'll do maybe every other page. Do we want to do a flap? Oh, I'm going to show you something too. We're going to get wild and crazy because we can. It's Friday night. A lot of you might just watch this the first time and you'll make it after you see how it all comes together. Right? Do whatever makes you happy. So what do we have so far? My backwards front page. Right? And then a top flap with a pocket. So now... That's what's left. We're going to have to do it on the back. Okay. So the next card in my stack, I think is, where did I put them? Do you see them? Vicky's lost everything already. Oh, here. My goodness, Vicky. The next one is going to be the sunset with the orange dot. Okay. Sunset orange dot. It's going to go here. So we can decide. You could whatever you want to do. Do you want to do another flap on that one? I'm going to I'm going to tell you what I think would be fun. Why don't we do a side flap in that? Da da. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. Why don't we just use what we already used because then we don't have to get wild and crazy. I'm going to use this, but I'm going to have to cut it down or we could do it this way. Yeah, that's perfect. So my idea is it's not glued yet. It's still going to open out of the top, but why can't we do a flap off the side too, right? Why can't we do a flap off the side? No one's the boss of us, right? So I'm just going to trim this. And I think I'd like this to show, right? I think that would be nice. So, obviously, too big, right? Too big. So, I would like it to kind of end up like this. So, I am going to trim this piece. The height of it is what's left over. So, it is four, and, four inches. Four and a quarter. I think it's what it's supposed to be. Four and a quarter. Doesn't matter. So, we're going to say four, four and a quarter, whatever you have, uh, by four and a half. Four and a half by four and a quarter, okay? Four and a half by four and a quarter or ish. 
it you do not need to have any kind of exact measurements for this friends right you just want a piece that's smaller and that it will fold behind so i'm going to score my court my half inch on the right hand side of that and this is if you guys love this this is why you like taking the classes with me because we do this on in my albums i love flips flaps patty wax right so i scored a half inch that's going to go like that and it's going to get glued behind that. And I'm gonna actually put it near the bottom because I like that. I can put something fun up at the top, okay? So am I measuring it or doing, no, I'm not. So, right, this is the sunshine card. We're gonna glue that flap to the back of the orange side and I'm gonna do it near the bottom. I don't know, about a quarter inch up from the bottom. So we're gonna put the adhesive on the circle side because it gets glued to the white, right? So look at it again. That's my orange that's going here. We want our flap to sit there. So we're gonna line that up and it folds behind, right? Flip, flap, patty whack. So again, no adhesive at the top, so our piece can slide in there. Side, bottom, and don't go too close to the edge because then you get a little bit of messy mess, okay? Side. Orange with the top flap, sun side is over there, gets glued to the card with a little bit of a white bit showing on the side okay so where are we at with that let me show you okay that was our top flap when we turn nothing but when we go the back way we have a side flap on that orange piece okay Score that, make sure it's laying flat-ish. Does that make sense, friends? So this is what we have so far. One card, two card, that's two cards. One, two, and three. And the back side of it looks like this. Right, very fun. And now the next one is rainbow. It's just, I'm not doing a flip flap patty whack. I'm just gonna make it a top pocket, okay? So the next one is rainbow. It's going, right? We have to cover white. Just keep in mind, oh yeah, I gotta cover white. So that's how I know which side is next and we're just gonna make it a pocket. unless you want to make it a flap and you do whatever makes you happy. But there are so many hours in this evening, right? There we go. So there's my next one. It still will have my little piece that's going to go on the inside. You just got to work it in there sometimes, right? There we go. Okay. So now we have to go to the back because we have to finish this off. Go to finish this off. There are so many things we could do, friends. Like I could really complicate it and do flip flappers all over the place. But I know some of you probably are already going, um, you want to punch me? Because <laughs> you're like, holy crap, man. That's complicated, but it's not. It's just complicated when you're watching me do it. Sometimes you're like, oh my goodness, that's a lot. So this one, let's just make it a regular pocket. Or do you want to 
we could do the top flap on the back one. This is a paper that's going to come next. We could also look at what's in my ephemera from it, right? Let's see if there's anything we could use if we wanted to. Oh, that's kind of fun. That. That could be a side flap if you wanted it to, right? Can I tell you something? You can make a hinge too. So say you didn't want to lose any of that card for your journaling, you could make a hinge. Let's do that because we can do whatever we want, right? I'm going to show you a hinge. So we're going to have a hinge on this one. And we do we want to mat the back of that card? We could. Oh, look it. Okay. We'll make this easy. Er, okay. So this is going to be a side flap like we've done, but on the back. What we're going to do here is we want to cover the back of this, right? We want to cover the back of it so that um, it has something on the back of the card, right? Now, this piece that we're going to cover it with could also act as our hinge that goes on the inside. So our hinges have all been, our, our flaps have been a half inch, right? So to cover the back of this, we would need three inches. So I'm going to cut three and a half by, what's the length of this? Five. So out of this remaining piece of card, I'm going to cut a three and a half by five. Three and a half by five. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. If you don't trust it, just wait and you'll see. It will all be clear in a second. I want the blue to show. What's the next? Yeah, yeah, I love it. So I want this blue part in my three and a half. So three and a half by five. So we'll do full rainbow on here. So let's cut the bottom of the rainbow off. So see what I did? Three and a half by five. Because that is going to turn like this, right? So when I do my little hinge, it has to hang off that side of it like this. Ready? Can I freak you right out? Can we do a side pocket off of this? I'm going to do it. You guys like don't freak your freak like Tim says. I'm going to I'm going to show you stuff cuz we can and it's fun. So do you see what I have here? My blue is here. I know I overcut it, but we'll be fine. So let's start with this. So see this piece right here? I'll show you in a second. Okay. So I'm going to glue this down, but I'm not going to put any adhesive on that side of it. So I can still do a side pocket in my side flap. And I'm freaking some of you right out. I know I am, but I'm all right with it. So to keep my adhesive clean, I'm going to adhere the back of this card because I know exactly what size I need then, right? So I'm going to put adhesive at the back here, bottom, and top. So top, bottom, side. Okay, top, bottom, side right? It is going to get adhered right to the edge of this piece. Hopefully it's not upside down now. We'll see what I did. Okay. Right. So now I have a side opening in my side flap. I'm going to trim the bottom of that and clean it up. I'm going to freak some of you out, but I'm all right with it because I feel like it's worth it in the end when you see the fun that's just is about to happen. Okay. I just cleaned it because I overcut. Right. So remember, we want this to be a flap here. Right. So this is going to fold behind. We're going to score this and fold it behind. So I'm going to score it on both sides. So I'm scoring that quarter inch flap. Half inch, pardon me, half inch flap like that. Do it again on that score line. Okay. 
and it's going to fold behind like this. Okay. The next card that is coming here is going to be the hearts. Right? I think it is, right? Am I grabbing from the wrong thing? No, it's the flowers. Sorry, I, I got to move these things because I have stuff everywhere. Okay? Flowers is next in the stack. So let's pull it out. Don't be stressed. Just watch what I'm doing. So you guys got that, right? We need this flap. So we can have a side flap on this. This is going to glue and then get glued with the top opening. Does it make sense? Right? So now our next card makes sense is flowers, right? Next card's flowers. We made a side flap with a side pocket, okay? It's going to get adhered to the flower piece like that. So I'm going to put my adhesive on the rainbows just so, cause then we know where it ends. Cause then I always adhere what will keep it as clean as possible. Right? I like that. Fold it over side flap. Look at that friend side flap with a side opening and then it'll be a top pocket. So no adhesive right here. Let's do it. This is why people who sign up for my week, my um, big event classes keep coming back because this is what we do. It is fun. I love it. It means I can add journaling. I can add some side photos. I can make my friends think I'm super creative and smart by making fun things, right? Ready? Side flap with a top pocket and a side pocket. So what happened there? Put our blue piece in. Blue piece for the top. And then we can make a piece for the side pocket which I will make three and a half by, I'm going to make it a square. I think three and a half by three and a half, three and a half by three and a half. And let's just, I have some yellow scrap here. I'm going to use that. Uh, whatever. Who cares? I'm just going to do it. Three and a half by three and a half. Three and a half, but three and a half. I think four is going to be too big, but you could put two in there if you want, right? You could put orange, I think would be even awesomer, more awesomest. See, side pocket with our side flap. And there again, it just depends how um, aggressive you are with your gluing, how straight <laughs> you are. But see, boop, boop. I can come back and add later. I just want you guys to see it. So there we go. It's going to be thick. It's going to make some of your pages thick. So that's why the next one I'm going to leave just top pocket. Just top pocket. Yeah, for sure. This, you know, one of these things, don't forget. I make these things all of the time. So if you guys are watching and you're like, I have no clue what she's doing. This video will be recorded and you can watch it four times if you have to, to see. And to me, all you need to start is, are your cards in order? Do you understand the whole top pocket part? Make one just like that. Just back and forth, back and forth with top pockets like I did here. Right? This one is beautiful. And it is just top pockets and mats. Just top pockets and mats. Right? Make one like this to start. And then you can graduate to the side flaps and all of the other things, right? So this one we're going to keep simple. And I'm just going to put it as 
a card with the top opening. So it's going to be my heart card next. And then I also feel like then it gives some of you guys a breather if you're looking at it going, oh my goodness. That's crazy. Because it is, but so am I, right? And I like it um, like that. Yeah, these make great little Christmas things, right? You could even do it like say you have adult or older children, teens, and you're doing gift cards. Why not make a mini one like this? And each insert is where you put their gift card. Starbucks, Dairy Queen, um, you know, their favorite clothing store. If they're away at school, their Walmart gift card. This could totally be, we need to do another one like that. I just had an idea. Would this not be fun as a tag book with gift cards inside of it? I love that idea. Right? Alt, whatever. What a great idea. So, Don, you're a card maker, right? Not really scrapbooking so much, but this is where the two crazy ladies can meet. Each one of these you could pull out and it could have um, a gift card on it. What a great thing. Like, say, so you're doing a group gift and everybody has, like, could put a little note on their card. Like, say, say you work in an office and one of the girls is having a baby shower. So you decide each one of you are going to give a gift card and then you could put your note on it and you could wrap this with a bow around it. And how fun would that be with a little message? And then maybe you put a picture of each of you in there or a picture of the you guys together. Like, really, it could be anything. But I think I just came up with two brilliant ideas. Brilliant. Gift cards into a gift card holder, right? And just don't put as many pages in. Because maybe you're like, my kid's a brat. They're not getting 10 gift cards. I, I, But I bought four. So then just make four pockets. And maybe there's notes, love notes for your kids in there too, right? Or a niece or nephew or whatever. I, I love the idea, right? And you can still put photos in there. Wow, look it. If you're in Canada, Metro has $50 gift cards for The Gap, H&M, and Reitman's for $40 this week. Motivational messages? Yes. Or it could be anyway. Like maybe it's a graduation one, right? Or something. And, and then you're putting like little notes, grad notes in there or something. Totally could. You could put notes, photos, uh, inspirational quotes, whatever your jam is, my friends. So um, I'm going to do maybe one more flap, but I would like to be able to finish it tonight. <laughs> so let's go to the back. I'm not putting anything on this one. On the next one, I'm going to put a top flap again. So we have our painterly marks is the next one. So she eats more than ramen, right? So wouldn't this be fun? Like a fun way to, to give your gift cards, right? You could create a little gift card book out of box card sets. And like I said, you might not have Vicki Booten box card sets. And you might have like a collection you love from Maggie Holmes or from um, Crate Paper or Page. American Crafts does these uh, for every collection, right? So you have all different things. Hi, May. How are you? Lottery tickets, Paula. Look at the smart friends we have here. I love this. For lottery tickets. Maybe I'm going to do that. Maybe we'll have to make another one. Okay. Somebody remind me. We could make a mini one for Christmas. And I'm going to use Warm Wishes or Evergreen and Holly. I'm going to use Evergreen and Holly. And I'm going to do lottery tickets and gift cards. And I'll just record it instead of doing it live. I'll just have it as a little mini video. I love it with gift cards and lottery tickets in it. I love that idea that we came up with, right? So love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to do a top flap on this one, right? So we have our top flap and then just 
tags that we're going to put pictures or whatever on. And back here, we have a side flap. So I'm going to do one more side flap and one more top flap. And then uh, just finish the sucker up. So this is the page next. And you could really add flaps on all of the cards and then put it down, right? So that you could have uh, flaps on this side of it too, if you wanted. Okay, so the next one is this, and it's going here. So let's figure out what would look nice with the hearts and that pink. Wallet size school photos. I love that. If your grandparents don't live close, take photos of the grandkids opening their presents from them and write thank you notes. Love that, right? I love that. I love that. You could also do this as the whole school year and give it to a teacher. Like maybe take pictures of different events and things they've planned. Possibilities are endless. Your investment in time and um, the amount of money for the product is minimal too, which, you know, it is a very um, cost effective with massive impact project. And who doesn't love that, right? I, I love that. I love that. Oh, I kind of dig in that. Look at maybe what's this one look like? They're all very busy and I want something that kind of rests the eyes. So we're going to use this one. You could do a pick for each grad to in the senior year. You def Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. Yeah. I love the uh, word paper but just deciding what's going to go up. Oh, that's what I'm going to do right there. Okay. So only part of the rainbow is going to show and this, Oh, we're supposed to do a top flap with this one. Right? So that makes it, I like it even better. I like it even better. But, so I'm going to put my words on the front. If your words are on the back, make sure when they flip up that they're going the right way. So it should be upside down. Right? So I want my words on the front. It's going to be a top flap. And we decided our top flaps are three and three quarters by six. But I have to cut it because of how the words are going this way. Okay. So I am going to, can I blow your mind again? I'm going to. So watch what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to cut three and three quarters. Isn't what, who sings that song? Didn't I blow your mind this time? Is that the new kids on the block? Didn't I blow your mind this time? Didn't I, didn't I baby? Something like that, right? Okay. So three and three quarters. Did you like that high pitched cat scratch boogie? 12 days of Christmas. <gasps> Helene, you guys got to remind me because I'm going to make these things happen. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a pocket flap. Eight days of Hanukkah. So good. So good. Okay. So I want my pocket. I'm just eyeballing friends. So I'm going to say the pocket is going to have a pocket of two and a half. Two and a half. Okay, two and a half ish. Is that too wide? Oh, it might be. I might have overdid it, but it's okay. Whatever. Don't do what I did. Maybe you don't want your pocket that deep. So it's going to be a pocket flap. So I'm going to trim that off. And this one, I'm going to score a little less than half inch. So many uses. So many uses for this, right? loving it and i just use anything to score <laughs> you'd think i'd have all the things handy right but i don't new kids an advent calendar yes so many good ideas i love it here we go so look at 
It's going to be a pocket and a flap off of this. I'm going to notch it because we like to do those things with a circle punch or you might even have a notcher tool. So you could measure it, but I'm going to eyeball it and say that looks like half notched. Now, this one I'm putting double-sided tape on because I don't want to lose all the real estate in my pocket. So I will do this. A honeymoon journal. How fun. You could take this on a trip. And it could be a little like um, where you keep all the tickets for the excursions you go on. Um, little journaling things. I'm telling you, the possibilities are endless. I hope now that you're like, wow, Vicki, she's so smart. I just need to make so many of these. I am so glad I showed up tonight or tomorrow or whenever you're watching this video. And now I can use my scraps. I can use my box card sets. I can use whatever I have to make and be a paper crafter scrapbooking extraordinaire. You could stamp this. You could do it all from your mixed media backgrounds. Is Karen here tonight? My card making friend with all of your mixed media gel plate backgrounds, right? Right. Okay. So I put double sided tape on the sides of my pocket just so I don't lose all the real estate in the pocket. So now, see, it's a pocket. It's a pocket, but it's going to be a flap too. So we got to put our adhesive on that side. And it's going to get attached to center it on your front of your card. And hi, Margie. I saw that you're here, my little pocket pal. There, see? Top flap with a pocket. Hot pocket. And it's going to get glued to the front, but we're going to leave the top open because it's also a top pocket. Top pocket. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I'm so incredibly sorry for your loss, my friend. Sending you so much love. So, so, so hard. So everyone send Sherry big virtual hugs. Right? She lost her husband on November 18th. The funeral's tomorrow afternoon. I am so incredibly sorry. I hope that you keep coming and joining us and that um, we bring you a little bit of, right, love, respite, right? I bet you do. I can't even imagine. That is very, very tough. You know, don't even have the, oh, do you see what I just did? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Look what Vicky just glued it upside down. So let's fix that because that would not work. This is the way you glue it. Don't do what Vicky just did because that was bad. Almost ruined all of that showing off I was doing. I almost ruined it all. <laughs> you tried to catch me, right? So, so sorry, friend. So there, now we have a top flap with a pocket. Okay, with a pocket. Score that so it lays flat. And we'll find some ephemera or something we'll put in there. I don't even know if I'm going to keep adding all my pages because I feel like it's getting huge, this sucker. So I think I'm only going to do two more so we can embellish it. Right. I would like to show you guys how you could um, add some stuff. Right. So the next card is going to be the butterflies. Oh, let's add our blue. There 
we go. There. Okay. So let's add our butterfly. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, just leave it. I'm not going to put, I'm going to make it just a pocket. Because look, it's already 930 friends here. So again, what I had mentioned at the top of the hour and a half ago is that at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern time, I am going to be adding a little quick flash sale to vickybooten.com. And if you are in the Evergreen and Holly weekend event, there is a prep day on Sunday. Make sure if you haven't already got into the private group on Facebook that you've done that. I will be doing some cutting and class prep on Sunday to get us ready for the big weekend next weekend. There will not be a Friday Night Live next weekend because I will be in the Evergreen and Holly weekend. We will be doing cards and tags in our private group next week if you want to sign up for access only is 40 canadian dollars for three classes hours and hours of education you can do that at vickybooten.com if you want a kit i still have kits available so even if you like um buy the kit you can join in on the fun and then complete it when your product comes in the mail but it is going to be a lot of fun a lot of what you're seeing here tonight on steroids right on steroids so it's going to be fun have a good night sherry um sending you lots of love uh lots of love and strength for tomorrow okay friend so there we go let's get i'm gonna i'm this has i'm gonna put two more pages on i have to i'm a liar see because i or do we just end it there i'm gonna end it there friends i'm gonna end it there so I'm just going to close off that. We have to do our front page and I'm going to close off that page. Vicky has spoken. I've decided that's where I want to end it. But we can do something fun on the back, right? So I'm going to cut this card and that's going to be my last page. Okay. My last page, but we will do one of the side flaps on this one. I can't wait till next weekend too, Irene. It's going to be so much fun, so much fun. And the prep is going to be fun this Sunday. And we're going to do some fussy cussing together. It will not be all of the cutting for the weekend. It will only be part of the cutting. Okay. It's only going to be part of the cutting, but it is going to be the fussy cutting and some of the other stuff. So it just is not so overwhelming and so much work on the weekend. Okay, next weekend. So I feel like then we can be a little bit laid more laid back and enjoy some of the whole process a little bit more. Okay. Okay, let's decide if there's any ephemera I want to add as my side flap. Because I did not open a new pack of ephemera. I just went with the 12 million things that I have open that I haven't used from this yet. So I could do a side flap with that. That'd be kind of fun, right? With the hinge. Today's moments are tomorrow's memories. So we'll back that. And we will add a side flap and then we can start just putting some embellishment on here. How are we doing friends? And I know some of you, I'm going to use the oranges. I like that. Okay. I'm going to use the oranges, but I'm going to use the top. Mm, no. I'll use the leafy part. It's going to cover it anyway, but I think the oranges next to that will be fun. So it's going to go like this. The width of this tag 
or this yeah tag i guess right is three and a half so we're going to make this four four inches wide and then the the height of whatever you're using which mine is five and a quarter so we're going to make it four inches by five and a quarter Four inches by five and a quarter ish. And I'm not going to make this a side pocket or anything. I'm just going to glue it. I'll clean up anything that I need. It has to come off this side because that's going to be the front. Okay. So let's glue this to this paper and then we'll score it. You could make a side pocket again if you wanted on this. But I am not. Because there are only so many hours in the evening, right? Oh, how nice is that, right? It must be tough. Like my kids um, didn't leave. <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever leave, right? They're going to school locally. So I can only imagine what that's like. And it must be so nice when it's new, uh, when it's Thanksgiving for my American friends, right? And your kids who have been away at school or family that lives out of state comes home to visit. It must be fabulous. I would, I would think that you guys would totally love this, right? Our Thanksgiving happens in October, around October 10th. So now we're in like, I'm in full on Christmas mode. I'm decorating. Hi, Doris. There's my Doris is here. My Zumba belly dancing, amazing friend. We've, we're starting belly dancing. I'm just telling you, if you guys are local, come and dance with me. And Doris, obviously Doris is the one dancing, but if you want a partner, I will be your partner. We have so much fun. I absolutely adore that woman and she is just the sweetest. And we Zumba and belly dance like nobody's business. So I signed up for belly dancing. We're going to be doing that again. I love it. Right. It would, it is fun. We're fun and I'm crazy. So I'm sure I drive a lot of the people in the class absolutely bonkers when I'm there because I hoot and I holler and I say more and I say yes to um, bachata because I love to dance bachata, right? Yeah, Doris, we need to get some of my Vibu crew to come and do Zumba with us. So if you're ever driving through the area on a Monday night, and you want to come hang out with Doris and I and all the rest of our peeps. Oh, my goodness. It is the best thing for mind, body, and soul. And she can move like nobody's business. That woman, holy crap, man. She can shake all of her bits. It's awesome. See? So now look at side flap with the top pocket. I can gift this to Doris. Telling her in every pocket how amazing I think she is. Right? So there we go, friends. There is the whole base. Let's flip through the sucker again. So there's a lot of different ways uh, we could make these books. Like we could have a side binding where it's not like a zigzag flap. Zigzag flaps. It could be just um, side binded. So it opens like a book. But this one is front and back of awesomeness, right? So we have our top flap. All of these come out. I think it's a great idea for a gift for putting gift cards in. I forgot one here. Look, I forgot to put a tag in. I think it would be awesome for gift cards and lottery tickets. And Doris and her husband um, also own a tanning salon. So you could put like vouchers in here. See, Doris, you could whip one of these up for Frank. So see there, now the front of our book, 
looks like this. You could put different colors in each of your pockets if you wanted to, right? Top flap with a pocket. So we will find something in here, right? That goes in our pocket. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Right? And then our side flap. And then the back way, so we still have to finish this page, is a little side flap. Side flap with a side pocket. And then I don't think we did any, nope, okay. And now we get to embellish it, right? Yes, we did another one. Look at this one. Um, so look at, it's my friends from Three Craft Chicks and that's where we did this book. And then when I posted this, everybody was saying, I love it, Can I wanna learn how to do it. So we did one on steroids tonight that has flips and flaps and lots of fun things, right? So, um, like I said, this could grow and be as, as intricate as you would want it to be. It's totally your choice, right? So friends, we could just put a mat down on this one. You could turn your cards this way and you could put it here where it's making now look at, that's fun by putting the card there and then we could have a little, oh, we could, oh, there's so many things. I gotta, I gotta rein it in, right? I gotta rein it in. So I'm just gonna cover this. I'm just gonna cover it. I'm not gonna get crazy because like I said, I'm gonna run out of, I'm just gonna put something very simple. I'm gonna cut the back of that one. It's fun. Crafting should be fun. Meeting up on Friday nights should be fun. I love that uh, we have quite an awesome community here that we've built. You know, it started prior to COVID times and you guys just keep showing up. I love that we support each other in the good times and the bad. Because it is, you know, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. And let me tell you. I am glad I'm here because I'm I've been struggling some days. It just, you know, um you you show up and with your happy face and all the rest, but life can be hard and, and sometimes things are just hard. And I have to say that I just love that I have you guys that I can come and I have something to look forward to on Friday nights and my weekend event and teaching in person or teaching online. Um, with a bunch of people who share my passion for crafting, right? So call me anytime you're struggling. I will, Don. It is. It's hard. It is hard some days. Life's just hard, right? Nothing in particular. Like if you said, oh, is everything okay? I'd be like, yeah, you know, it's just, it's not always sunshine and rainbows, right? Just sometimes. And I also wonder sometimes if it's seasonal and I don't think I do really well this time of year where we live with how dark it is all the, and dark and dreary. Um, having forced air heating on, my skin hurts like crazy. I have to buy a humidifier. Anybody else find that? Like my skin is killing me. It's so dry, right? I don't chat much, but I'm always here. Thank you, Anne. Hopefully you're here doing things, right? Thank you, Dana. And I know Irene. I definitely know, and I'm glad you show up every week, Irene, and you post very frequently in my group, and you're there, and for as much as you feel I do for you, you give back to me just by being a part of all of this, right? Dark clouds and th thunderstorms lately. Yeah, it's dark. I wake up some days, and it's dark. We go to bed, and it's dark. So I think that I need to up my vitamin D. And just, you know, and I, one, sometimes just, and get over myself. Sometimes I need to. It's like, okay, Vicki. Sometimes it is a chemical thing. And sometimes it's one of those, okay, you got to get out of your own way. And just try to find the positive in things, right? But it's tough. And it's tough because, you know, some of us, depending on your personality type, is I'm always outgoing. I'm always doing the things. And sometimes I'm tired, right? Just tired, right? 
You're so generous with your time and your lives are so uplifting. Thank you, Terry. Right. Thank you, guys. Um, add lots of vitamin D. It really helps the downers. I do. I believe I, I haven't been taking any of my supplements and I need to get that in there. Right. Check into light therapy. Yeah. I have the light. I know uh, Ot Light sent me one of those during COVID. Um, I should turn that on. It's like the one that's supposed to help with your vitamin D and stuff, right? I'm currently making two warm wishes albums. I'm a little behind. I love it, Anne. Woohoo! I love it. I love that collection. Okay, friends. So we have lots of things, like lots of embellishments. So we can just kind of pull some things out. Like, look it. Enjoy life. Eat cake. This feather is going to be beautiful somewhere. I have linear aspects. We have um, the clips, which this is a perfect thing to use your clips on because uh, it doesn't have to lay flat like it would in an album. So let's just pull some title pieces out. And I want to do it different than this one, right? I don't want to do it the same as this one. We'll switch this one up. Yeah, I need to get my supplements back in, right? And um, get some daylight. Six hours of Tim Holtz therapy tomorrow. Yes, Ed, but I'm also trying to move my... Hi, Kimber. Hello. Thank you, friends that are out there that haven't really chatted with me tonight. That um, it makes a difference, you know, guys. Like, I do notice when some of my friends who I haven't heard from in a long time, when you... Uh, pop in and say, hi, I do care. A lot of you might think, oh, you know what, Vicki, I, I, she don't, doesn't care if I talk to her or she's busy, she's not, I freaking notice. I'm just gonna let you know, guys know, I do notice. I notice when you take a minute to say hi. Um, I notice the ones who chat on here all the time because you don't have to. Some of these are fussy cut, okay? So some are embellishments and some are fussy cut from the paper. Freaking love this floral from Sweetbrush. It's one of the best. Always here just listening and crafting. I love it. I love it. The good stuff. Oh, I want some cotton candy. I need some cotton candy. I'll put the labels there. Lots of titles, right? Because each page can have a title. The bike could be cute. Oh, the peacock, loving this. So, like I said, there's multiples of a lot of this because I've just thrown a bunch of my ephemera in one. So I'm just pulling some things out. And I'm going to just, first thing I'm going to do now is go through and stick ephemera on the pages. And then we will go from there. Oh, a flower would be pretty. We can cut some mats. Like, it does not have to be... Um, ooh, look it. Make some lemonade, right? Make some lemonade. Ice cream, some labels. Car, maybe, if you're going on a road trip. Hi, Don. How are you? Hi, Lorena. Uh, played along for a bit, but going to a day crop with Cecile Lavoie tomorrow. Give her a hug and a kiss. Hug and kiss for both of you guys. I love me some Cecile Lavoie. Yeah, I am very much looking forward to seeing some of my Moncton friends in the coming months. It will be very nice. Oh, the clouds could be fun. I love this collection. And like I said, we were, remember I said with the tag, the flip book, it was kind of a goodbye to, um, to uh, Sweet Rush. But here we are again, because you ask, and I provide. So you wanted to see how I made this, and I'm like, sure, let's just do one more. But like I said, I will have everything you need to make this in a kit that I'm going to slash the prices of, because everything that is in the kit, I think, is valued at 95 Canadian, and I'm going to put it out, I don't know, I'm thinking 50 bucks. So uh, just check it out. Check the deals that will be in there tomorrow. Because then you could use it for card making. You could use it for your scrapbooking. Whatever you want to do. I will make it worth your while. Just help me clear it out, right? That's why I look at it. Just help me clear out the stuff that I have around here. 
And don't forget, I still have kits for Evergreen and Holly. And I still have kits for... Oh, print shop. Man, I cannot wait till we start using that one. Let me tell you, friends. I cannot wait to use print shop. Love that collection so much. Okay, that's a lot of crap right there, right? Color study. Oh my goodness. I love color study. That was one of my favorites, right? The best cream I have found for dry skin is from Kiehl's Cream de Corp. Um, my other favorite one, and it's actually on 50% off if they still have it, go check it out at Sephora. It's Fab. First Aid Beauty Intensive something. I, I need to, somebody go look it up for me. It's on the tube is on for 50% off. And let me tell you, it even works on the eczema that I get on my face in the winter time. Okay. First aid beauty fab. And it's a tube. It's blue. It was on for 50% off today, 19 bucks. And it is so worth, it's so worth it, right? It's excellent. It's small business Saturday tomorrow. So there you go. So I'm going to do a little sale for small business Saturday tomorrow. Okay, let's decide what's going on the front. What do we want on the front cover? I don't want to cover everything, right? Don't want to cover everything. I like this. Hello, my name is maybe. The rainbow one is hard. This one we'll see. Maybe the bike. Look at the bike. I like that. Look it. So that. And then our title can go across the bottom. I have a bunch of different things. Let's find that little label. And that, I'm going to cut that off. Important stuff. Important stuff. I'm still laughing at that Rich had to come down here. So you guys felt bad for him. I love that, Deb. I love that. And I love that your significant others and your kids are so supportive of your crafting. I think it's really important. My kids do. My husband is. They know that something that started out years ago as a hobby that is turned into my full-time job. Oh, enjoy the ride. That could be fun, but it's. I don't think I have enough space. It would be fun if I didn't have to cover the whole thing up. You know what I mean? But this should go together on something somewhere. Um, and then when it becomes your job, right, it uh, takes up a lot of my life. And uh, being able to meet up with you guys and do this is super important. And that you have family members that support your craft. And the joy that you get from it, I really think is important. So Deb, whatever your husband's name is, thank you, Deb's husband. Thank you, Susan's husband. It's super important. Hi, Jody. What's Jody have to say? This is my first time I've been able to play along now that I am retired. I whipped up three books and now to embellish them. I love that, Jody. Jody and I would get in a lot of trouble together. We would enable each other to shop for beaded handbags. Um, she was on the cruise with me. Absolutely adore her. We have a couple of my cruising friends. So um, friends, just so you know, remember I talked about, maybe I'm going to put the green one on here. I talked about Greece because you guys have been like, I want to go on a cruise. There's no new info. I'm mad. Um, it's coming. I just have to fill out the contract and get all the details together. So um, it's coming friends who wanted to go on a cruise. I don't have any details. It is not completed yet, but I thought Greece would be fun, right? I thought Greece would be fun. So it will be coming. And I think there's enough interest that I'm going to do back to back. And to give you an idea, one is going to be mixed media and one is going to be scrapbooking because I know there will be a couple who will want to do both. So I am going to, uh, actually, I should print all that off and get it together. So that will be in 2024. 
2024. Working on all the details, okay, friends? Yeah, and here's, here's, let's talk about this for a minute. So the plus will be is that that will give you almost a year. You'll have, you have to put, if you decide to sign up, you have to put a deposit down and I think it's around 500. And then that gives you a year to make um, payments towards it. They are very good with payment plan and you could pay a little bit off. You can pay a little bit off. So I'm putting that little label on there and I'm gonna pop this guy on there too and put some titles on. Or do we like important stuff? Yeah, and maybe I'm gonna trim some of it off though. And the reason that I picked Greece is because it is one of my bucket list destinations. And I thought I can't be the only one, right? Can't be the only one. There's got to be other people who would find pleasure in that. So that's why I decided that that was the destination I wanted to look at. I love this. Okay, let's pop her up. Let's pop it up. I'm not gluing this down yet, but I'm going to get it ready. But I do, I'm going to put lots of pop dots on my cover. I love that. I think the cloud, look it. Oh, I love that too. Going to do it. Yeah, it's going to be good. It is um, a good one. So we found back to back where I can get so people, because there's only a 50 people max, right? So I figured if I do two, then that will give you a fighting chance to get in on it before it sells out. So no details yet. Don't reach out to anybody because there are not, I'm actually going to get in trouble because I'm even talking about it, but. I will fill out my paperwork tomorrow so that we can secure it all, pay my deposit, and then the information will go out. And I will make sure that we send, that I send a newsletter out as well, okay, so that you guys can get all the details. There we go. Burp, burp. I love that so much put that important stuff so the boat doesn't a uh, boat the uh what's my favorite cruise line i only cruise with royal um it's all i've ever cruised on and plus i like collecting my points right now for paper crafting or art cruises the only reason too is that they have uh areas for us um to create in right it's set up for us to create in um does your max include non-scrappy guests no no uh i have some people have come and they're the only crafter and they've brought their whole family like their two kids their husband their mother-in-law and father-in-law all everybody gets in on the group rate the only thing they don't pay is the extra bit for the crafting Right. So you can like if you you're like, oh, perfect, because we can all get we get special rate. You always get the lowest rate with the group rate and then you can um, totally sign up with your whole family if you wanted. And they do not have to pay the crafting portion. I will not make your husband come and scrapbook with us or anybody else if they don't want to. Your daughter and granddaughter. Yeah, definitely. And then if you're the only one who wants to craft then they will go do other things while you're um, at sea crafting and then you can meet up with them after right laugh do we want to use any of these life life sweet they're too big not gonna fit not gonna fit vicky so um important stuff we've got to find a title now let's find a title 
um, where did I put all those vellumy pieces? Yay! Oh, I like that behind my bike. Maybe. Not committing yet. But I'll put that there. And then put cool stuff. Oh, important stuff, cool stuff. No. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, that's cute. No. I don't want that. Let's go into the sticker book. I also have, I put them somewhere thickers too, right? Um, important stuff. What could we, I could put yay. I need a title that will fit on here. But we can do different things. Look at. like that good vibe good vibes and i'm gonna put fun that's what i'm putting i decided important stuff good vibes and fun yeah i totally could put the year right fun is what i want on there fun I love these stickers and they're matte so you could paint them right so let's put this one flat and we'll pop up the U and we could put so fun too if we wanted to but is that straight looks good to me Sorry, I have to concentrate on my straightness. Yeah, enjoy the ride would be good too, right? Good vibes, enjoy the ride, whatever you want to use. I'm going to pop the U up. Like that. I am loving see the thickness all the texture on there i'm going to end up putting something here some hearts gold hearts will be fun this is like a 1980s smurfs schmoo Great space coaster awesomeness going on right there. Absolutely love this. And now I want so, so fun. So off to figure it out. I'll end up probably adding different thicker or something there. Oh, can I fit a heart on here too? I don't know. Let's see. You could. Good vibes. Have fun. Love that too, right? But maybe we can just get crazy with all that the Larry yumminess. I think a blue one though. And then we can pop up our heart. Uh, the blue one is not. It matches my tag. That won't work. Put that guy back on there. The yellow one, and it will secure the little. There. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. Fun. Okay. And you could put like little photo corners on there. Like, how fun would that be? Like a little gold corner. Or scalloped edge, even. Let's look quickly. I have my scallop border punch. 
sure enough to drop everything on the floor. But I do think an edge on here would be nice. And oh, and the blue, because it pulls the blue in. Pulls the blue in from our tags. So let's try it. I'm gonna find the center of the pattern. How are we doing out there, friends? I know I will start losing a lot of you. I've like 40 people have dropped off because look at it, it's 10 o'clock at night. I will not be able to finish all of this, but you guys can embellish it any way that you want. This is what the problem is with Vicky. Um, I get where I'm having so much fun and then we've run out of time. We run out of time because it's fun. I could put that in there burp, burp. so it finishes the same on both ends I really like it there and I'll trim it I just like that but now let's just trim the overhang off and straighten it because it's not very straight on this end there we go Now, to make this go, I like that, right? That little bit of blue now uh, makes it look like a cover, like the front. So, and I love the more pop dots, the better. Totally enjoying that. Important stuff, fun. Now, to make this go a lot faster, can I tell you some things that would be super easy? Is pick your mat size, right? So I would go with cardstock and then you'll look like right here to me would be perfect for a photo. So you can decide for these, you could do your mats at maybe three and three quarters by five and a quarter or five, and then just cut your photos down or some squares, right? You could do then three and three quarter by three and three quarter. So those are always like, let's just cut a couple quickly. So I'm going to do a couple of these. So I think it is super easy then to set your mats up. You'll see what I'm talking about, right? Keep your scraps because they can be like little border pieces, right? So look it. There we go photo mats. I'm going to do a little bit, I think by five, I think I would like it better. And then I would just cut my, right? Doop, doop. So if you have a whole bunch of mats, a whole stack of them, that will make decorating this way easier, right? And you could do like when uh, we started with paper clips. How do I say your name? Is it Eliana, Eliana, that's a beautiful name, right? And then just go through and find pieces. Like, look how fun would the camera be here? I already know. I love that. And then just clip it, right? And I could put a photo there. I could layer one of the journaling bits. What's this one say? A story to tell. Look how fun that is. And just kind of layer your bits, right? And then you go on to the next page and you decide which side is my photo. You could put your photo mats on the left side of every page if you wanted to. And your titles on this side or you could alternate on your pages, right? So you could go through, like, what do I have? I have yellow cardstock here. I do, right? And I could cut a whole whack of mats. So what do we say? Three and three quarter ish. Three and 
in the corner. And then we'll do one maybe by four. We can do one by five. And then what are we left? Yes, I love it. And then whatever is left there, I can just use these for mats now, right? So let's do another. Three and three quarter. We'll do another by five. A square. So let's do a three and three quarter one. There. And then we can do what is this one? What is this? Is that is a four and a half. So let's do four and a half by a three and three quarter. We know the width has to be three and three quarter, right? So now I want to do a do do. Do another four. We have a couple fours, okay? So now look at. We can go through and decide. So some of them maybe I I want a three by four. Let's do some of them three by four. Right? Be a three by four. Let's clip for now, because I like that. And then we need a title on this side, right? So maybe enjoy life, eat cake. Maybe that's what I'm going to use here. Boop, boop. And just kind of lay out the basics, right? Lay out kind of the basics. That is a little too wide. So I'm just going to trim a little off of it. Don't even care because I will cut my any photo to fit, right? So maybe I want that on the heart side of this one. And we'll clip it. And then we can decide what do we want on that page with this one. Enjoy the ride. Love that. I'm going to just, I'm going to commit that one. And I'm going to pop the top off. Because then if I pop up the top, I could put ribbon in it if I wanted to. I'm going to put it on that side, or this side, this side. Enjoy the ride. And then I can layer some other bits, but I am digging that. And then I have spots for journaling and my photo. It's not done, but right now I'm thinking mat and title. Mat and title. Ooh, love it. Um, I think this could go on the bottom of that. I like that. What else could go with that? Maybe a flower. Off. Oh, I love that. Right off there. Doing the things. How we doing, friends? Yeah, night owl. Can't help it. Once I get started, got to do the things. And then this gives you guys an uh, idea. And what I will do, if I don't stay here all night doing this, is I will do a flip through of the finished project. Okay. But totally digging that because now I have a little lifter for my pocket and we still could fit one of the thinner little pieces. Look at double pocket inserts. Digging that, right? Cool stuff, maybe. Oh, I like that. Look at off the top of my pocket. If we can find something to layer it with. No. No. Do hello sunshine. Can 
button on the bright side because I'm flipping it, right? So that it'll fit with, no, I don't like it. Loving this. Oh, that I am. Perfect with a mat. Let's do a second mat on this page with the title. Perfect. Actually, let's turn it this way. There we go, our title on this page. And then later, when I go through my sticker book, right, I can find little sticker or date or whatever you want to put on that. And then we have here today's uh, moments. I think it will be fun to have a little butterfly turner on that page. Right, little butterfly. Today's moments are tomorrow's memories. And we could put a today up there, which I'm digging. And because it is a pocket, for right now, I'm just going to staple it. Because it's vellum. Right, today. There we go. Love that. Okay. And then whatever. Oh, we have orange slices. Look how fun is this? We could totally build up our little Rio here. Ah! I'm going to do that. And we'll pop something up. Maybe the lemon. What mac could we use? Perfect. There we go. Your husband's 65th birthday. I love that. I think that'll be a great idea. I'm trying, Valerie. I'm trying to be done. My mother's probably out there going, oh my goodness, Vicky. What are you doing, you crazy lady? And I'll be like, I know, Mom. I have a problem. But these are not. Like, these projects are never super small right it is um it is what is vicky trying to say time consuming that's what vicky was trying to say let's find a title for on here and then you have the back side of this right but that's the biggest thing right is finding your title pieces I love this one. It says sunny side up. I'm putting that on there. <laughs> sunny side up with all of the oranges and things right there. Sunny side up. And then we'll find some kind of title. Good vibes only. There we go. I love it. Okay. So our front, not completed. 
still going to add more, but right, you get an idea. We need a title and things that you could put on each page, right? And then we still have to pop to our back side and find little things. So I know that is a good thing we could put in there. And then we'll line something on the back of that. Simple, finding joy in the simple things. And I kind of want to, I love that, mask the sun because it's going sideways. So I know that's going to go there some way. So I'm just going to tack it down. And that will flip. And we can look for other items, elements, because that is about it. That's about it. That's not too bad, Vicky. All right, we have hello. I want that one. Hello, my name is is going to go here somewhere with some elements. And for right now, let's just clip it. Notes. That is a good one. Look at notes. I'm going to put it on this side too, though, because how busy that is do that and maybe one of the florals will be fun on that page right Goes it over oh, oh. I love that so we'll put it here for now and then we know we need a mat still that'll totally work let's clip her Oh, Ooh, I said, and then didn't use it anyway. <gasps> Peacock, he needs to go somewhere. Hello. Peacock. And I could put a little yellow mat on this side of the page. Perfect. Mark that with my handy dandy marking tool, also known as my fingernail. doing friends dropping like flies because Vicky's like her 12 hour Friday night live right and also I'm not really talking to you because <laughs> it's hard to do both and try to finish this right so if I do that and the peacock goes down here and then I got to find titles for things right but I like that but I would like him to be on something We could do it like that and then find the title piece. I love that. So that will work. And then a little strip will go down here for title. Maybe. Don't know. But I want the peacock on there. Peacock, my little friend. Cool stuff. Let's see. Your nighttime friends are here. I know. Other people were like, oh my goodness, I'm out of here. And I get that. But these are not small. Like this is not something ever you would just sit down and just whip up, right? Oh, I love this. That turned out going for it. Let's go for it. And these aren't um, 
that sheer that you can't get away with just using your tape runner, even though it is vellum. But I like cool stuff. Because what is cooler than a peacock, right? He, she is kind of cool stuff. I don't know. Would that be a male peacock? I don't know with um, my... I'm not up on my peacock facts to know if the males are like with other bird breeds that they are sometimes the more colorful are males colorful and females are not i'm loving your cutthroat decisiveness well you have to right it's like right we're doing um like it's like timed crafting like i have to just kind of whip something together but i'm dev i'm loving that rainbow like look at what just happened there with my cutthroat decisiveness the males are pretty ones and peahen is the female and she is muted in color. What's up with that, right? What is up with that? There. He's kind of committed, but I'm loving that. It's not straight, so I'll fix it. But cool stuff. And then let's find something that will fit on the back of our... of our circle. Ooh, ooh. I could just cut that other thing off. Oh, no, look, it could go on that. I love it. Look at that just, and we'll put a little circle. We can punch a circle out of pattern paper. One inch is too small. Well, I have one and a half. And what color would go? Something pinkish, I think, could be fun. Or orange. So we'll pick. Or green. Green could work. What do we have? Pick. Just pick something, lady. Come on, lady. Because I know Sheila is out there going... Just hurry up, Vic. It's my mama. Sheila is my mom. Oh, here's a green one. Can, will I, can I fit it? Because right now, figures can't be choosers. And it does not fit. Where did all that pattern paper I picked out? Did I use it all, friends? There's a stack of stuff. Blue. Let's try it. I like pink. I just don't have any on my table. So I'm just trying to go with what is here. That will work, right? Ties the blue in from the peacock. Totally going to use it. I agree. I was trying to find pink, but I couldn't. But I found blue. And blue it is. Center that on there. There we go. There. Good enough. I love it. And now let's put a little mat on this page. We Let's put double mats on this one. But then I will run out of yellow. So one will have to go here. And then we'll put that one there. Try to use what you have. That's what I did. I just tried to use what's here, right? So what is left on my table? Lots of things. I would like to, the idea of double layering. Like that, you know what I mean? But they're the same color. Oh, look. Where's my second? Because I like this page as a little sunshiny page. So there's cloud, cloud. And then if I can find my smaller, well, we can put one on there.
like that. Ooh, make sure it's over far enough so your page will shut. Nope. So maybe come off the page a little. Nope. You can't go on there. But I will tack that down for now. Tack this down. Because I do want the palm tree on there now. I'm kind of committed to the palm tree. Like that. Pop dot on top. And find something else to use with it. But dig in the palm tree and live in my dream life. And then we will commit this part here. Secure that. Okay. Nope. But I did like tying the yellow, but I wasn't digging it. So we're still going to put some kind of title strip on here. Just don't know what it's going to be yet. Everything is fine when there's sunshine. Life is better when you're laughing. Carefree. Hello. So I'm going to leave that there for now. I'll figure that out. But I'm digging it. I'm digging that. We will find a title for on here. We can find a mat maybe to, to quiet this down and then put a title on that page. And then I can find, I have butterflies and other things too, right? See that, I don't like that with the green, but I like this. Is there a different page we could use that on? Maybe switch these. Yeah, yeah. Because I love that. Like that. Look at that. Love it. This is flat. And the rest will be popped up. Had to move it right so it won't the page will close. There we go. Pop that up. Pop that up. I like that. Matt. Very fun. And then on this page, we can do this notes. <gasps> side flap pocket. So watch what happens. So I'm going to take the side and that. And then this is going to go in the corner. Do I have left? anything look now that see side flap little side pocket and then we will figure out what to go on this side oh be like a little tropical floral arrangement we have pineapple still left I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yay. Oh, I like that. Yay. So it's going to get attached and then I'll decide from there. I don't want to make it crooked. 
So stick it straight on. There we go. Yay! Ha! And then I'll finish it. But it's coming together, right, friends? Fun little book. And like I said, this is like with zero prep or planning. So really, when I think about it more, I could make it a lot cuter, right? Like there's still things I will add. So I will finish this and I will add a walkthrough video of it. But I have to say, I really love how this turned out. So let me flip the camera around and say, so long, farewell. And I will definitely do a finish walkthrough because it is right now 1038. That's me making a mess. So just give me a second. I got to move my laptop again so I can say bye-bye to you guys. It is cute and simple or as, as complicated as you want it to be, right? You can really do whatever you want with this. So let me see you, friends. Hi. Um, that will fun. That will be fun. Where to go uh, for the sale tomorrow? VickiBooten.com. And just hover over shop. And I will move it up to the first, like, store add-ons or flash sale. It'll probably say flash sale. 12 p.m. Eastern time. And if you guys are waiting for the instructions, um, I will get them posted at some point tomorrow as well. So I have lots of things on my plate. But thank you so much, friends. I love this. I love how that turned out. I will have some kits. If you want to buy with a 6x8 pad, both ephemera packs, the boxed cards, and a couple different Sweet Rush things in it. And they're going to be on flash sale tomorrow. So if you guys want to get extra things and make one of these, it will be in the sale and a bunch of other stuff. I'm just literally going to go around like a crazy woman and just add a bunch of stuff. Um, so thank you so much, friends. Have a wonderful weekend. I will not see you next Friday night unless you are in the Evergreen and Holly weekend event because it's finally here. I'm very excited about that. And don't forget, this Sunday is the prep at 1130 Eastern time so we can get some fussy cutting and some of the things done. So have a wonderful evening, my friends, and um, I will see you soon. I'll see you soon. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you thumbs up the video. If you are not subscribed already, subscribe and make sure that you hit that notifications button as well. So you know whenever I'm going live or I add something new here on YouTube, and make sure that you're liking and following on Facebook if that's where you're watching. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you as always. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It was a long one. but It was a lot of fun. And thanks, Natalie, as always, for uh, being my sidekick. We'll see you later, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.